Marquise, what's good, y'all? Hey, y'all. Um, so I see that y'all have the affiliated records. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So just let me know, um, how'd you guys start this? How'd you guys start the affiliated records? Um, well, everything started pretty much with, like, DJ affiliated. Mm -hmm. Like, I went to college, HBCU, Dell State University. Okay. And I started DJing like, my sophomore year. Okay. I like blew a refund check on DJ equipment, like you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, like, oh, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, for, <laughs> like, sure, for sure. I had dropped my house and got like seven bands back. Mm -hmm. Spent like five of it on DJ equipment. It was the worst equipment. I didn't know nothing about it. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying. And then like after DJ, like my whole college career, and then something was like, what's next? Like okay. All right, I gotta add something to the bill. Like I can't just be a DJ. Yeah. Like, everybody named Mom was being DJs. Like, right. You know what I'm saying. So. Then I went from DJing to producing, started making beats. Mm -hmm. I put it down because I kind of gave up. I was like, yo, this, I was using Free Loops. I didn't know nothing about those programs. Like, mm -hmm. it was so hard to learn. I was like, damn, like, I'm not really interested no more. So I took a break off that. Then I started getting back into the producing with using Logic. Yeah. Like, that was my lane a little bit. And then I started making more beats with that. And then some hit was like, yo, I want to make beats for artists. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to be the middleman for everything. Like, right. Instead of like paying somebody else to do something, I want to DJ, produce have the business like you know what I'm okay saying? so That's all cool. hands on all, all hands on okay like, i don't gotta go find a radio station for this i don't gotta go find you know what i'm saying something for this i'm gonna find a person who djs right. i'm gonna find a person who produces. i'm gonna find a person who engineers mm -hmm. i was like i want to do all that by myself okay so i started tapping into it and then after a little bit after a while having people like confiding in me with their music i was like yo we gotta turn this to a business mm -hmm. and it actually started with some of the productions Okay. That was like going to be me and Keith's oh, thing. Like, Keith was into the music. He was like, how can we do this business thing together? Like, what can we do to make this work? So we started putting our heads together. We came together with okay. affiliated productions. And now it's more or less going to be like the art side, the media side. Okay. What's going on in the city with like black owned businesses. Yeah. Like, that's how that was going to start. Mm -hmm. But the music started taking off more than the actual art and the news and affiliated productions. So we made affiliated music group. Okay. So both of them is our business. Affiliated Productions, LLC. Affiliated Music Group, LLC. Okay. And then artists started coming around more. We was able to start building and getting into our studio. And that's pretty much how we started all together. It was all a dream from college. Like, okay. Adding to the bag. I couldn't just be one thing for the rest of yeah, my life. Yeah, you like, wanted to get you everything. Have, yeah, you wanted to have so your hands on everything. Okay. Like, okay. It was like, yeah, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? We got to figure it out. So, Marquise, how did you get involved with Cliffs to end this venture? So, for me, um, I'm interested in business. I love business. All aspects of business. Mm -hmm. um, so, and I know in a lot of aspects with art, uh, artists don't know how to market themselves or they don't know how to take care of the business out of it. So it's right. like, you know, you see all these artists that get in these deals where, you know, at the end of the day, they're cheated. You okay. know, so for me, I saw that was like, you know, this is an opportunity to kind of help out, you know, my fellow man to say, hey, you have an art, but let me help you not get cheated by the next man. Let me help you get your art out there so that way, you know, people can see it and, you know, know what's on your mind. Okay. And you don't have to worry about, you know, oh man, are they, you know, trying to take everything I have or oh man, are, you know, am I gonna get, you know, five years from later not get anything back. You know, yeah. I want, you know, our, our, our biggest drive is to, you know, make sure everyone gets their art, you know, whether it be, you know, he's in music now, but get their art out there so that way people can see it at, you know, and everyone's happy. Okay, okay. So would you guys say that you guys are helping the community out by taking a bunch of local artists and, you know, giving them a, pretty much a platform to where their voices can be heard? Yeah, yeah. that's exactly what it is. Like, okay. it's, it's, it's meant to be an opportunity. Okay. Like, that's why artists that were signed to us will get majority of their, their services free. Mm -hmm. Like, we will record you. You can come to our studio time for free. Yeah. We can put your music out for free. Like, we got discounted videos and photo shoots, like, you know what I'm saying? But the next person or next label is going to charge you up for it. Okay. Or the individual is going, like, like you got to sign your soul away. Like, yeah. yo, in order for you to get this, you got to get that. And it's like, yo, why can't we just help and give back? Like, okay. so many people gave me the opportunity as a DJ. It's like, yo, I can only give the next young man a uh, chance to DJ or learn how to. Or, like, teach another person how to make a beat. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, everybody, oh, yeah, definitely. Everybody need a way out. And it's like, if we going to try to get to the top. I can't get to the top by myself. Oh yeah, yeah, it's like mentoring the young. It's just exactly. like you were having you your going. own, yeah, you having going. your own stuff to do and bringing the artists in so they can pretty much just get themselves out there. Mm -hmm. And then it's like you want to be responsible for somebody's success. Like everybody, yeah, it's cool. Like you might want to play the back, but you want to be responsible for. You want to see your fruits and your labor flourish. Like right, you want to exactly. say, damn, like I had something to do with that young man. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying like, oh, I helped him get his song out. I put his song on iTunes, and he probably never thought he would even get in his chance to record his song. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. It's like finding a dollar on the floor. It's a good, yeah. it's like, oh, dang, I got a dollar. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and yeah, seeing right. somebody else win is like, mm -hmm. but right now, it's full of, like, this, this world is full of negativity. It's like, 
there's no reason why you shouldn't just see oh, somebody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And imagine for our city, like our city kind of like, the music scene is cool, everybody rapping, but it's not really like, accessible to everybody. Yes. If you're not an A-list artist, or if you're not like somebody who's really making moves, you yeah. under, you, you on a sub because you underground. Yeah, you know, yeah nobody underground. Know, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But who to say we can't have a community for ourselves? So right. And that makes sense. Major moves. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I mean. So let me ask you guys this, uh, this question. What is the end goal for the affiliated music group? Like what, like, what are you trying to achieve at the end of the day? Like, what is your top goal? Somebody going viral under our under our management. Okay. Yep. Like someone being the next top hit on the radio. Affiliated Productions. Ah, like, that right there. Here, like yeah, that right okay. There, that okay. right there would be happy inside. Nice one, yeah. that's all. That right there. Because we doing everything we need. Like, we paid out of pocket for everything. Like, yeah. We built the studio from the ground up. Mm-hmm. Literally. Like, yeah, I saw that. The empty four-wall room, man. We got carpet, a four by eight booth, like, you know what I'm right. saying, a couch, mics, like, we got a podcast side, a recording side, mm-hmm. like, and that's something that we can call our own, and we can bring anybody in who's serious about their craft and want to get to that next level, like, yeah. we don't care about the, like, we don't care about what you do outside of that, as long as that don't affect what you're doing in the business side, you can do it, you can live your life as you want, but we want to help somebody get to that next level. And you got to be just as hardworking as well. Okay. You know, the biggest issue that I'm learning nowadays is like, you know, you'll find an artist and when you first meet him, it's like, hey, you know, I want to be in a studio, I want to be in a studio. Yeah. And, you know, then you start making studio time and the first week's good, mm-hmm. the second week's good. Third week's all right. Third week's all right. Third week's all right. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. They don't want to come back no more. They don't want to come back. You got to call them, hey, you want to get in? You, yo, you got good music. You need to get this out. Yeah. You shouldn't have to be the ones that's, you know, who pushing you your you? dream. Yeah, exactly. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind it. I don't mind the whole motivational thing. I, you know, mm-hmm. I'm 100% with that. Sometimes you do need somebody to be like, yo, get up, get up, get up. Yeah. You know, but it shouldn't have to be like, that's the bread and butter. That's the only thing that gets you up. Exactly. So if I don't call you, you don't come in the studio. You yeah. know, if oh, I, nah, if nah, I don't nah. say, hey, I'm booking you this time, you don't come in the studio. You know, you have to be just as eager to get your music out there as exactly. I am. And that's yeah. crazy because, like, the time that we invest in is our private time. Like, mm-hmm. it's like time that really can't go wasted. Right. So it's like all the money we spend in and all the time we spend in trying to find you again, trying to figure out how we can get your music out, how to get your name out, your image out. Mm-hmm. And you not doing your part by coming around is mm-hmm. like, damn. It's even like, worse. Like, dang, like, we really trying to go to, we really trying to hand feed you this. Like, yeah, exactly. Who, who wouldn't want free studio time? Who wouldn't want. Somebody to engineer their music, mix their music, record their music, make the beat, put it out on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Spinrilla, all the top yeah. apps. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that, that's one accomplishment. Nigga, next accomplishment is getting the masses to hear your music. Exactly. So it's like, we're not keeping that from you. We're not blocking it. We're trying to give you the tools to be like, yeah. yo, just give me some hot tracks. Exactly. And show that you want to blow up. Yeah, show, yeah, show that you Everybody, want it. Like, show that you're yeah. starving, pretty much. Right. Mm-hmm. It's like, you can't just go out here and make a song tomorrow. I think it's going to be dope. It's like, yeah. same time, I know people ask me, like, yo, how can we make money off this? And I'm like, I can't be your first question. I can't. Mm-hmm. You're an artist. You, I can't got, be you, first yeah, exactly. time you got You got to pay your dues. Like, mm-hmm. Exactly. I've been DJing seven, eight years. I started out producing for like three or four. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. My sound is getting developed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm finding my niche. Yeah. It's like I'm putting in my time. I can't worry about where the money is. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's why we're doing this because we can't worry about where the money is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Cause like my thing is like time. Like once you put the time in, then you like you will reap the benefits. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a big believer of that. I believe that once you put in the work, right. then you're definitely going to be rewarded for it. Right. At the end of the day, definitely. You got you, all you got to do is it's about networking and, and exposure. No okay. like, those Vine days are over with. The yeah. Instagram people who go famous. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of hard to do, but it mm-hmm. still happens. It's like you know what I'm saying. The, the, the street runner part where you gotta go door to door, knocking people door, put out, yeah. you know I'm saying, put flyers on street poles. Like those days are over. Like now you gotta find the next thing. How can we get somebody to that next level without the traditional ways being involved? Okay. Without the cliche ways yeah. being involved. Like yeah, we wanna go viral, but a video on Instagram might just not do it. Like I'm okay. saying, uh, releasing all my music on Instagram might not do it. Mm-hmm. Not releasing music at all, not going to do it. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? So you got to find your lane and hit it hard. Like you got to constantly have content. Mm-hmm. And like that's what we're working on now. Like we got our artist Shiz Yu signed to us as a partnership. You know what I'm saying? We manage him. I'm his official DJ. You know what I'm saying? And he's yeah. eager to get in the studio. Yep. And he got like 40, 50 songs on top. Mm-hmm. And he's just waiting for the right time to drop. You know what I'm right. saying? And it's like being able to go over all these different places and and see some talent and be like, yo, come through. Yeah. Like, handpick talent that you want to work with. Yeah, right. Imagine how they feel. Like, you know what I'm uh, saying? Like, what? Like, yo, and then you go to the studio and record a banger, nigga. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dropping something fly. Like, yeah, what? Let alone be one of my beats. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got two artists from Maryland. 
Summer Boy Harper and Age Marley. Okay. Like they got this track called Thieves on one of my beats. And, like it's crazy. Like you know what I'm saying? It's like they got oh, we, we got we fix up, go back, tie some loose ends up. They got, they worked on the visuals already. Like, yeah. When we got that. It's like liberating. Like yo, we accomplished something. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And nobody can take that away from us because it's like yo, we trying to build and be the next Empire, best man. thing in the city. Like, Empire. Cause, Real shit. Because everybody want to be independent. We independent label. Yeah. So if you got mm-hmm. if you an artist and you yep. got your own bread mm-hmm. and we a label, we got our own bread. Like. Don't worry about the advancements getting a check cut to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because without the music, your check not getting cut. Exactly. exactly. And, and the advancements, that's how you end up in 360 deals. That's how you end up in 360 deals. That's, 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 that's how you get burned. Yeah, yeah, I gave, you, I gave you, you money, and now you owe me that money. And yeah, now you mad exactly. because that music yeah, never. That music is, don't you got to make enough music to cover that debt. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, why not? You got your bread, we got our bread, we coming together. Yeah. You believe in the vision with us recording you. Putting your music out, mixing and mastering, and you gotta be there to help us shape how your sound is. Mm-hmm. You can't read your mind. You can't just make music. Like I'm saying, like yeah. you can't do this for you. Yeah. Yeah. There are recording labels that you can go to that you can pay and they can just record your stuff. And they won't mm-hmm. care. Send your See you later. Uh-huh. And, and their mind, they know. Oh, that sound like trash. They, they, they know, don't tell they me friends. Right. They're not gonna tell you. They know I recorded this for this person, mm-hmm. and it's done. And he's satisfied with. It. I got your check. On yeah. to the next. Mm-hmm. But is anybody really taking pride in your work? Right. Like, can, you can come to us and be like, all right, they're going to understand my stuff and take pride into my music. Like, exactly. It's a good feeling. Like, and that's the goal is to, like, get every artist to understand, like, yo, the lesser way means more. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And even some people say more is less, but you're not, you're not Jay-Z to... Yeah, just to, to just pull some strings and just walk in, like yeah, like yeah, like yeah, like yeah. You gotta get to show your growth, and it's like you gotta. They gotta understand, man. Yeah. They, they gotta be hungry for a. Yo, so let me ask y'all this: What kind of record label would what, what y'all consider yourselves to be? Are y'all Death Row? Are y'all Bad Boy? <laughs> no, I just want to ask you because, like, yo, I can definitely see you definitely being like, oh, if you don't want your producers all oh, sitting there dancing, come to Affiliated Records, come to AMG. <laughs> y'all I'm, like, I'm, me, I'm not a Bad Boy. We're not Bad Boy. We're not Death Row. If we had to be anybody, any label, mm-hmm. we would have to be Rock Nation. Okay. I like that. For the simple fact that, like, yo, Jay Z is helping every artist in the game somehow, shit, some ways. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I don't think it's about the bread with him. Mm-hmm. He already on Forbes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he want, but he wants the entitlement of like, yo, I put these people yeah, in right positions. Yeah, like, at you know this what point, saying? yeah, he just takes in the title now. Right, like, and he's he not even brand no more. Oh, exactly. He, he, pro- he, I think he produced his own his first album, and his album was signed to the label that he that he owned. Mm-hmm. So he came out the gate swinging with his own business. Yeah. Like Zaytoven. Zaytoven recorded Gucci. He made the beats for Gucci. He mixed Gucci. He put Gucci mixtapes out. Gucci stuck with him. And now look what Zaytoven yeah. And Gucci would never leave Zaytoven behind because they, they built yeah, the they, chemistry. Yeah, they like, built it you know together. Yeah, like, they started up. They that's what goal together. Yeah. That's the goal is to build that relationship with the artist. And now you're like, oh, wow. Like, yo, look what we did. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah you got you got You got tracks going diamond or platinum. Or, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Every single song. Yeah. Oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Straight up single. Like, mixtapes be albums. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's, like, it's a new right. era of music, bro. But then again, you say who we be. I like MMG though. I'm about to say because y'all AMG, so like MMG, AMG. Yeah, it's, like it's a dope, it, AMG is kind of. I will. I'll stick. To, I'll stick to the Rock Nation, but AM, MMG. If Ross get a couple more people on his label, I feel like that would be a, a mega force. Like they label would be A1. Okay, so one more question for the both of y'all: If y'all could sign three artists, dead or alive, mm. it has to be from different genres, not just uh, hip hop. Yeah, what artist would it be? I can name you three already on top of my head, but I want to listen to y'all first, and I'm gonna name you uh, my three. You wanna go first? I go first. I like your shirt. Okay. <laughs> I, I okay, would definitely cool. need to find me a prince. Oh, yes. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> that's cool. Sure, you sure. do a top artist, sure. culture, actual artist, of life, or dog, matter, dog, life, dead or alive, uh, or any uh, artist. All right. If I could find me a prince, I'd be lit. Three. Mm-hmm. Currency for sure. Okay. Some might disagree, but it's all my all my all time favorite is K Cutty. Okay, that's a crazy like a little spread. But Love I feel it. Like that'd be def- definitely Empire right there. Love it. Definitely Since hip hop and R and B is two different genres technically. Mm-hmm. Hip hop, I'm going with the. I need. I was signing hell out thug because he he constantly gives you a hit. As awkward okay. as it is, like he gives you a banger and he puts the bag in your pocket every time. Every time. Mm-hmm. Second one would have to be Chris Brown on the R and B too. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yes. And the third one, if I had to go, uh, I was on Sam Smith. Okay. Ooh. I like the 
Sam like Smith. Oh, that was like a little, that was a little sneaky. Yeah, that was a little sneaky. I had to go for Sam Smith because that's the gusto right there. That was a little sneaky. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna drop some gems for y'all. Michael Jackson. Okay. Is one. Rick James Ooh. is two. Ooh, okay. And number three is the heavy hitter. Gotta be Jay Z. Okay. Okay. Gotta be Jay Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a definite force right yeah, there. Yeah, that's I can do that. Force. I can do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. King of pop, man. You can't beat him. That was a throwback. That was a throwback. I mean, yeah. speaking of King of Pop, you got the Kango on today. Yeah, yeah. You thought we were gonna let you live? You thought you were gonna live today? Mr. Straight Shot, no chase. You were gonna live today? Mr. Straight Shot, no chase. <laughs> <laughs> you better drink your drink, my boy. <laughs>